Hello, somebody. In today's video, we're going to be talking about five hair tips for the monsoons. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click on the notification button. If your hair takes a lot of time to dry, even in the summertime, chances are in monsoons, it is way worse and they take a very, very long time to dry. Also, it doesn't really help that there are chances of bacterial growth on your scalp because of the moisture as well as your own sebum mixing together. It can be extremely itchy, it can be very, very painful, forever concentrating on your hair and your scalp while your hair doesn't seem to dry is something that all of us have gone through, especially in the monsoon. So the fifth tip is a hair diffuser or a hair dryer. So I would suggest try to invest in a good hair diffuser or a hair dryer. I know you might feel like hair diffusers or hair dryers can damage your hair more than they can help you, but in the monsoons, you have to make sure that your scalp is dry at all times. There can be a bacterial growth on your scalp and things just go downhill from there. If you're somebody that's really concerned about your hair being damaged, I would suggest don't really use it on a super hot setting. Try to use the blow dryer or the diffuser on just air. Or if that doesn't dry your hair or your scalp too easily, try to use it on the lowest heat setting possible. But you have to use a hair diffuser or a dryer for somebody that suffers from that weird itchy scalp. I am one of those people that suffers a lot from itchy scalp and monsoon. And the only thing that has actually helped is the diffuser and the hair dryer. Fourth tip is neem. As I mentioned before, the real monsoons, there is crazy amounts of moisture in the air and for people that have oily scalps that can be a disaster waiting to happen because your oily scalp mixed with crazy amounts of moisture mixed with you not washing your hair continuously leads to a bacterial growth on your hair as i mentioned before and the easiest way for you to tackle it is if you didn't have a lot of oil on your scalp. Now you can keep on washing your hair continuously over and over again and try to wash it every single day. But what ends up happening is that your hair becomes dry and your scalp still remains itchy. <laughs> so try to use neem based products at least twice a week. Neem has natural antibacterial properties so it can really help in delaying as well as completely curbing that itch on your scalp by countering the bacterial growth that could potentially happen on your hair. So try to use neem based products, you could use neem based shampoos, you could use neem based hair packs but I would suggest if you don't really want to buy any of those things just get a couple of fresh neem leaves or blend them into a very very fine paste apply it on your scalp two times in one week you could do it before you shampoo after you shampoo whenever you want to and you'll be able to see a drastic difference in the amount of itchiness you feel also in the sort of like feeling you get on your scalp but if fresh neem is hard for you to come by always go ahead and buy dry neem leaves from amazon soak them then blend them or you can just take the dry leaves blend them into a very very fine powder and then mix that in with water make it into a paste apply it on your hair like a hair pack uh, you could also opt for applying it just on your scalp or you can apply it throughout your hair neem is not really that bad for your hair lengths as well and i'm sure you'll be able to see a difference within the first use in terms of itchiness but you will be able to see a lot of difference in terms of how your scalp feels within two weeks now the third tip is something that might sound odd to you but small things make a lot of difference when it comes to monsoons as well as your hair just figuring out how to dry your hair faster can help you a lot. Try a microfiber towel, something that can help your hair dry very, very fast or can soak up about like 97% or 90% of the water from your hair. When you use a microfiber towel, most of your hair is dry to begin with and it will take very less time for it to dry gradually. So I would suggest that you invest in a good microfiber towel. Not only does it help your hair dry out faster, it can also help your hair be less frizzy. A usual towel is quite abrasive to our hair and most of us kind of rub our hair. So I would suggest don't rub your hair, don't use a usual towel. Try a microfiber towel that is extra absorbent will help you in the long run. Number two, not only can your hair become frizzy in the monsoons because of extra moisture in the air, it can also become extra 
extra frizzy you use a plastic comb i know a lot of you must plastic comb so plastic combs can actually induce a lot of static in your hair um there's already moisture in the air so your hair is prone to be frizzy but when you include that static in your hair with your plastic comb it will become extra extra frizzy very difficult to manage you might have to apply a lot of things on your hair to keep it down so just try to use a wooden comb it it really helps in reducing the amount of static which ends up reducing the amount of static in your hair and your hair looking crazy number 1 tip check your products for glycerin glycerin is used everywhere in skin care hair care pharmaceutical sector everywhere there is a space for glycerin because glycerin is a humectant a humectant is something that pulls moisture from the air around it something like a hyaluronic acid but glycerin is not an acid a lot of us remember glycerin being used by our mothers in winter time to get more moisture in their skin and the reason why people are used to apply just pure glycerin is because glycerin is a great humectant a humectant takes all of the moisture from its environment and it puts it in the source that has applied the humectant so if you apply glycerin in your hair or you have any product that you use that has glycerin in it chances of you applying it and having frizzy hair is very high because the glycerin in that product the glycerin is going to attract the moisture from the outside to your hair and monsoons there's already so much moisture in the air so your hair just becomes very heavy it becomes very limp um it becomes this weird frizzy yet not frizzy very difficult to manage and it just looks kind of odd try to look at the ingredients list of the product if there's glycerin in it don't use that product during monsoons You can use it during the summer time or the winter time. Just make sure you don't use it around the monsoons to tackle that frizzy, weird, heavy, ew sort of a hair. I would definitely suggest glycerin-free alternatives for the monsoon time, and you don't really have to use them any other season. Just use it during the monsoons, and you're gonna see a drastic difference in your hair. That is about it. I hope you guys like this video. I hope this helps you in taking care of your hair. this month soon you want to do this video because as you guys can see i also have frizzy hair but it's way less um than it could be because of the sort of changes that i've made that i've mentioned in this video if you have any questions please do leave them in the comment section i love to read your comments and if you have any tips of your own that you follow during the monsoon for your hair and it really helps you out please do leave those as well in the comment section i say it in every single video that you know this channel is just my perspective is just one person's perspective and I just tell you what I think but it is super useful for everybody else to read the comments and when you leave a valuable comment a lot of people read it and they include that in the sort of information that I've given in the video and both those things together help a lot of people out make informed decisions about products and tips and hacks and all these things if you have any questions definitely leave those in the comment section if you have any other further questions you can follow me over at instagram this is my handle i upload every single day and i absolutely love instagram content as well like this video subscribe to this channel and click on the notification icon to see more videos that i upload i upload two in one week